Hello everybody, my name is Jessica Pisani and I'll be discussing the four horsemen of the apocalypse as noted in the John Gottman book, The Seven Principles of Making a Marriage Work. His structure to this marriage um, therapy is very similar to a CBT or cognitive behavioral therapy, focuses a lot around behaviors and structured, very goal oriented in similarity with the therapy models. However, the four horsemen refer to four key qualities that can lead a marriage to divorce, referencing said apocalypse. The first example of a horseman um, that can lead a couple to divorce is criticism versus a complaint. So a criticism in my current marriage may be that my husband doesn't bathe our daughter before bedtime. I could say something along the lines of, you never bathe our daughter before bed. Do you even care about her routine? A complaint or a better way to structure that same frustration may be, I'm disappointed that you did not bathe our daughter before putting her down. That is a part of her nightly routine. So a lot of these criticisms can be reframed better into a complaint strategy. A lot of criticisms contain the words always or never. However, counselors can assist with this area um, in helping the couple recognize what is a criticism versus a complaint. So a criticism more often directly attacks the other person in the marriage, um, while a complaint is something more related to the situation, not a direct attack on the other person. Also utilizing a lot of those I statements while in therapy, having them write down what they feel in the situation or what their frustrations may be help give them extra time to take their complaint or their criticism and form it into a complaint strategy. Our second horseman that will be established in the book is the idea of contempt. So this is a practice that's based from festering negative thoughts about the other party. Um, it's, it's exemplified through a lot of disrespectful means such as sarcasm, whether that be verbal or things like eye rolling, mockery, making jokes at the other partner's expense. This is all ultimately trying to insult your partner. Um, while in any form of an argument, trying to st establish that superiority of another person. And the way that counselors can intervene in this situation is reminding the parties of kindness and forgiveness instead of defensiveness, which is going to lead us into the third horseman. Um, so any form of aggressiveness or defensiveness. And typically after a person is attacked, they want to retaliate, obviously, they want to protect themselves in these situations. And so creating that wall or acting defensively, meeting fire with fire, only allows both parties to be burned. In this instance, it might be something similar as having both parties agree that the marriage isn't working and forceful a divorce. Um, however, there are ways that counselors can intervene in these situations. They can recollect um, what has happened in more recent arguments and participate in active listening. So having the parties both rewrite their responses, go through this um, situation and participants with active listening. And so on then making sure that participants want to be able to change these behaviors going forward as well so that they'll remember these in future arguments as all marriages have. And then the fourth and final horseman that is established in the book is an idea of stonewalling. Now this is something that comes a lot in uh, mostly men as well as longer married couples. So it's typically unlikely that a newlywed couple um, will have these same issues. However, the idea of stonewalling is after a person has been repeatedly attacked, they almost retaliate by doing nothing or something very similar as shutting down. Um, this is utilized as a defense mechanism instead of, you know, fighting back or being defensive as the third horseman um, was established. They almost just blank out from the situation. They no longer engage in the fights. And so making sure that counselors can help intervene in this situation can also retaliate using those I statements. Um, making sure that the both parties talk about how they are feeling in the situation um, 
and what causes these things to potentially happen and focusing on strengths rather than weaknesses. So what realm? what went right instead of what went wrong in the situation. So that is essentially my discussion of the four horsemen that was distinguished by the John Gottman book, um, The Seven Principles of Making a Marriage Work. Thank you all for taking the time to watch this and participate.